My friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today. I'm also wearing the cutest jeans ever. They're pink jeans. Hold on. I haven't talked about clothes in a little bit, but I even feel like I'm not really even getting it in the whole shot. There you go. You see a little bit more back here. They're from the brand Days. I got them from a boutique back in Illinois, but I think they are so cute. They're so stretchy and comfortable, and they have like a flare, but they're that cropped flare kind of look. And I just think they are so cute. Pink is my favorite color. I love, love wearing pink. And then this blouse is from a boutique out in California. And then these little rose earrings are also from a boutique out in California. I had a white bow in my hair, but I ended up taking it out. And then also I do have some makeup on. I just am giving my eyes a little bit of a break because the pollen and the allergies have been crazy here, but that was a little <laughs> OOTD. I just love my outfit and I'm really excited to be here. So I wanted to share. I also have a cup of tea. I just love all things that make me happy. <laughs> I was going to say cozy, but I mean, I don't, I guess I couldn't classify myself as cozy vibes. I'm not even really sure. I'm just in such a good mood. So join me. I hope, I hope I can brighten your day a little bit. If I do, we're going to be talking about some used books that I got today. I'm so excited. I had a fun girls day with my friends. We met up, we went out to brunch and then we went to this used bookstore and we just happened to stumble upon the fact that they were having a Saturday book sale because it was the first Saturday of the month. I'm not even quite sure, I guess I could have asked, but I'm not even quite sure what my books, what they each came out to be per, like per book because I ended up getting all of these for $20. I got 11 books for $20. And when the sweet gentleman, the owner actually of the bookstore was checking us out, he, I had like, nine of the books he was like all right these all cost 550 and i was like huh what five dollars and fifty cents and then i think a couple of the books were newer books like that i see that they have the years on the spine so i'm assuming that they are a little bit more expensive because they were newer books but i have this giant stack and i wanted to show you guys because nothing warms my heart more than a book and I especially loved used books because you can get such a good deal on them and I just I love all kinds of bookstores but something about a used bookstore just is extra like all the good extra vibes extra good vibes okay without further ado I'm just gonna jump into it and share with you what I got why why I'm excited about it if I know anything about the book if I don't know anything about the book I just recently did a book haul which I can link down below but can never have too many books, right? Can never have too many books. My name is Peyton, by the way, a whole four minutes in and I haven't even introduced myself. Hi, you guys, my name is Peyton. If you are new here, I would love it. If you clicked around, see if you enjoy any of my videos, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I talk about pretty much everything that I enjoy. I don't really have like a niche per se, but I love books, so I talk about books. I love makeup and beauty, so I talk about makeup and products. I used to do some vlogs. I haven't vlogged yet since getting my channel back up and running, but hopefully I can get it in me to pick up a vlog camera. But I don't know, vlogs are just a little bit daunting, <laughs> a little bit more daunting to me. So without further ado, I'm gonna quit gabbing and to talk about some books that I bought. The first book is by Ellen Hildebrand, and this is The Hotel Nantucket. I have a couple of uh, Ellen Hildebrand's books behind me in my library, and they actually had a few others that I haven't, they had a, a, actually a good amount um, by Ellen, but this is one of her most famous ones and I have never read it and I do not own it. And I love anything like East Coast, Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, Cape Cod. Like I just, I've, I love books about that. I think that area is so pretty. So I'm excited to read this one. Her books usually hit the mark for me like three or four stars. So I'm excited to give that one a try because I remember reading a couple of hers. I think I have the identicals and another one. I don't know why, but I know I have a few of them and they usually, they usually are pretty, pretty decent books for me. This is a <laughs> kid's book. I don't even know. I don't even know what like age this would be. Fourth grade, maybe. Um, I read this book when I was in elementary school, Chasing Vermeer. It is by Brett Helquist. No, no, no. It's by, it's by, 
blue ballet ballet it i'm gonna say ballet but it could be ballet it um illustrated by brett helquist and i actually read this for you know like in elementary school when you have small groups and like each different small group reads a book this was the book i remember reading and i remember really liking it and it was like a okay tween how old is a tween it says tweens on the back how old is a tween like 10 11 12 is that a tween um but i remember really enjoying it as a kid and there's a couple others i don't know if there's three or four books that that come after this but i saw it and i was like no way i have to get it and it just brings back so much joy especially because i just recently brought a whole big tote with me back from my parents house when we went to go visit some family a couple of weeks ago and in that tote is a bunch of books from my childhood like picture books and also like young chapter books so i've been thinking about this book a lot recently something for whatever reason has been in my mind about it so i picked this one up and i'm like yeah that just is, gets me in the feels then i picked up four books by Lauren Weisberger and she is actually the author of The Devil Wears Prada and these are all in excellent condition so I I thought I owned this book and I want to go through and make sure that I don't own it in this tote maybe it was I read it on my kindle though that could be what I was thinking but I, I could have swore I had the paperback of this but maybe I don't but anyways I saw this and I, I love the Devil Wears Prada. It is such a classic. So I wanted to get it in such great condition. And then um, they also had Chasing Harry Winston, which I have not read, but it is also by her. And I just, I remember having this on my like TBR, back before TBRs were a thing. I read the Devil Wears Prada maybe when I was 17, 18, and I remember adding this to like my Kindle wish list. And I saw it and I was like, oh, that's right. I've seen this before. And they were all stacked together. So I got this as well. And then this one is also by her last night at Chateau Marmon. I think Marmon. That's how I would Marmon. Marmont. Marmont sounds a little incorrect but maybe maybe that's how it's supposed to be pronounced in english i'm not sure but i am very excited about this one and then the last one everyone worth knowing i am excited about all of them i definitely am going to be rereading the devil wears prada such a classic and i'm excited for these three to give them a read it's to my understanding that um all of them own all of them take place in new york definitely these two but i'm having a hard time this one doesn't say anything in the synopsis about New York from my quick, quick glance, but I am really, really excited. I love like Candace Bushnell's books. I just, something about like young New York, like that culture, the fashion culture, the journalism culture. I, I, I love, I just, I just eat that kind of stuff up. So I'm really excited to read these ones and have kind of all of them for my library because they all look really nice together. The next book is Prep by Curtis Sittenfeld and I've actually read her, I have it, Eligible. It's her modern retelling of Pride and Prejudice and this author has also written American Wife, I believe it's called, which I have not read entirely. I checked out years and years ago, like six, seven years ago, I checked it out from the public library read a little bit of it and then had to return it and just a couple of months ago I saw it at Goodwill and I should have bought it but I did not but anyways I know that I enjoy her writing style and I really really like Eligible so I wanted to give this a try it sounded really interesting and it was also I didn't realize it was Sittenfeld's debut novel this is her very first novel and it was really it sounded interesting I mostly picked it up just because of the name and I recognized the author's name but I love all things preppy too. I think that's just fun. Like I think like the whole New York scene is fun. The Nantucket scene is fun. I also like preppy. I like to read about preppy culture and stuff like that. So, so I am pumped to dive into these and read them soon. They had a ton of really great condition book of the month books. So I ended up finding two of them. My friends had mentioned that they had heard about. So I picked them up. They are, let's see, The Holiday Swap, which this is about it gives me hallmark vibes it's about two twins and i think a bakery a baking show and 
two guys and I just think like that just sounds cute and fun probably one that I will save to read closer near the end of the year and Christmas time the holiday time I think that'll be fun and then one day in December this also just gave such hallmark vibes and the book of the month oh it tells you what month so this was december 2021 this was december 2018 that's interesting it also sounded very hallmarky this was another one december so i might save till the end of the year for those christmasy vibes but it it sounded like a sweet love story it says it's immensely moving a reminder that fate takes an inexplicable turn along the route to happiness not gonna lie i just finished reading the assassin's blade and my heart is like torn from my body from that book so i'm like wanting to read something <laughs> if i'm gonna pick up a romance i want to make sure that it is a very happy romance and not one that is going to make me cry and feel very sad sarah j mass so this one it sounds i think it's going to be a happy ending because it's described as joyous and heartwarming but it also sounds like they meet then she later learns that's her best friend's boyfriend so maybe there's like miscommunication going on there so it sounds interesting and it just sounds like a cute book and i'm not typically a like cartoon style um front cover artwork kind of gal but you know what they did they did draw me in and i definitely want to keep my eye out when i go back probably next month so i can get get this deal again but they did have some really nice somebody donated a bunch of the book of the month books and they were in really nice condition let's see jennifer weiner the summer place did i even i did not even say i'm so sorry the holiday swap by maggie knox and one day in december by josie silver i'll make sure that in the description box i put the full title and the author's name as well so if you're looking through and maybe i didn't even mention you can always look down there too let's see jennifer weiner the summer place this one the cover art gave me crazy emily what's her name emily henry those vibes like bright fun um this was described as the undisputed boss of the beach read a new york uh the new york times said that uh this author has also wrote that summer which i have never heard of but it is described as a heartfelt and unput downable novel of family secrets and the ties that bind and that just drew me in honestly the cover looks really nice i will go into books pretty blind so the cover drew me in i read you know a little bit of some snippets a little bit of the praise and reviews and i was like all right we're heading into summer i'll pick up a beach read that sounds fun fine by me this is one that my friend we were checking out and she was like do you have room for one more and i was like yeah she's like you need to read this one she read it i don't even know what it's about whoops it's by tia williams it was a part of reese's book club and it was it is called seven days in june so i i don't even know what it's about give me a minute let me read it not the whole book but just the synopsis seven days to fall in love 15 years to forget and seven days to get it all back again hilarious romantic and sexy as hell story of two writers discovering their second chance at love that sounds good that sounds good probably another one like another summary type fun read so i am so excited i feel like i got so many good books and i love this is a used bookstore i had never been to before so i loved discovering that and with my friends it was just so much fun so i'm looking at my stack like yeah, i can't wait i'm going to stamp them with my little book embosser so i can get them all added into my library and then i will sort them into my color-coded stacks behind me which by the way i have stacks because eventually this room is going to be a library with shelves behind me and all that fun stuff but not yet it is taking time that being said that is all that i have for you guys today i really hope you enjoyed this video and that is all i will see you guys in my next video which will probably be my march read and reviewed book series the books that i read in march so i need to sit down and type my thoughts up about each book because i got nine books completed in march which is a personal best for myself so anyways i will let you guys go i will see you guys in my next one bye